Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today on Tips and Reviews, I'm going to show you how to use Time Machine to back up your Mac. Stay tuned. So in this day and age, I can't stress how important it is to back up your data on a regular basis. It may sound like a really daunting task, but Apple gives us a really simple backup solution built right into the operating system called Time Machine. Now, in order to use Time Machine, it requires an external hard drive. Before I show you how to set this up, I'm going to proceed on the premise that you know how to plug your external hard drive into your computer. Okay, let's get started with the setup process by going to the Apple menu, clicking on System Preferences, and then clicking on Time Machine. The next step is to tell Time Machine what disk you want to back up your data to by clicking on Select Backup Disk. In the list, you should see your drive. I'm going to select my one terabyte drive. Before I click Use This Disk, I also have another option that allows me to encrypt my data, which basically gives me an extra level of security that would prevent unauthorized parties from seeing my data. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave this unchecked and go ahead and click Use Disk. By selecting the disk, you could see that it automatically turned on the backup process. Now over here you'll see that Time Machine will keep hourly backups for 24 hours, it will keep daily backups for a month, and it will keep weekly backups for all previous months. Also note, the oldest backups will be deleted when your disk becomes full. There are a few other options as well. Let's take a look. Time Machine also gives you the option of excluding certain items from your backup, as well as notifying you after all backups have been deleted. I'm going to leave everything set as the default and click Save. All right, so my backup completed today at 11.30 a.m. and is scheduled for the next backup to occur at 12.24 p.m. That's it, guys. Quick and simple. Time Machine Unattended Backups. If you're not using it, please do so. If you need to go out and get a drive, they are relatively inexpensive and definitely worth the cost of protecting your data. Hey, if you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and put your comments down below. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. See you next time.